Hi, everybody. Thanks for uh, organizing this very important event and for inviting me to talk. I'm here representing academia. I'm professor of economics at the Stockholm School of Economics and at the University of Rome, and I'm specialized in methods to deter uh, crime and white collar crime and uh, whistleblower rewards are really important tools, according to research. Um, it is important to talk about research because uh, a lot of recommendations in other countries are based on biased information, while researchers tend to be, if not objective, independent, and, uh, and they base their conclusion on data. So I'm here to make, to summarize what research uh, based on the US has uh, found on the impact of whistleblower reward, uh, reward schemes. So one clear point, and this is really an important one, uh, some people have been saying that the whistleblower awards are not effective. Well, there is plenty of data now, and there are very, very good researchers. There's one job market paper from MIT this year. They are showing that there is a very strong deterrence effect linked to whistleblower awards. Now, deterrence means that white color crime is prevented from happening, not only detected more easily, but prevented from happening. This is a very important finding. It's very hard to find evidence of deterrence, even for death penalties or for other type of uh, crimes. This is uh, like a golden goose uh, of, uh, of law and economics. So there is a lot of evidence that uh, these uh, report, these uh, reward schemes are effective in terms of reducing cost, like the cost uh, of, uh, of resource, what we say, reward scheme management is like one thirtieth of the amount of recoveries and fines. But there is also a deterrence effect. Another issue, a strong deterrence effect. Another issue people put uh, forward is that uh, rewards uh, crowd out intrinsic motivation. So people will be not, um, you know, we'll not be using honesty, but just be doing it for money. Well, we don't have any evidence of that, even though some psychologists in love with their own theory uh, continue to spread this information. The evidence is that uh, these reward schemes increase enormously the quality and the quantity of information that law enforcement agencies receive, and therefore uh, also the manage to deter crime. So uh, this idea of intrinsic motivation being, uh, you know, being the crowded out by financial win in incentives is just a, a vague idea. There is no support for that. Third, people are concerned about malicious, false reports or similar things. There is no evidence that this has been a serious thing, a serious problem in the US or otherwise and with the data we have. So there's been a lot of research. This is not a problem. So this, uh, uh, this is what the data says. If you look at what uh, the agencies say in terms of their own records, they are really very happy about these programs. These potential costs in terms of being floated with the irrelevant uh, uh, reports has been uh, has been shown to, to be not, not, not based on reality. In reality, uh, there have been, there's been a large uh, increase in the number of reports. On the, the attitudes and the conclusion of the agencies are important and should be uh, always kept uh, uh, in front of the, of the debate. Um, there is a lot of um, false or biased information pushed forward by corporations or their representatives, sometimes governments, which are captured by the business, like in the case of UK, uh, it can be more details, but uh, uh, it's important to look at research, not at what institutions say, because they may have private agendas. And uh, it's also important to regard financial incentives as part 
of compensation for the damages that they will never be protected for. Uh, whistleblower cannot be protected from uh, for their career being ruined because corporation will always find an excuse after three years to to kick the whistleblower out and so. On. So evidence is strong. So research independent evidence is strong in favor of these uh, tools being super effective and super self, you know, cheap and self-financing. And uh, be careful uh, about the information that is spread by non-independent researchers.